Hi, good morning everybody. I'm Adam Davis. And I'm Dylan Tanaka. And we're making millions over morning coffee. So anybody out there that's following the stock market for probably the past 12 to 15 months has gotten a lot of surprises. We've seen some big ups and some big downs. Today there was a big merger announced between Delta Airlines and Northwest and the stock market is not reacting positively to this. I know that there are millions of Americans out there that are sweating bullets right now because their future is up to the stock market and the whims of the big banks and the big investors on Wall Street. Here in Metro Detroit, we have a little bit different take on what it takes to build a successful and secure retirement. Exactly, Adam. This is where Michigan Income Properties comes in. What we do is we buy and sell real estate. There is such a market right now in Michigan, believe it or not, for rentals. We at our office get between five and 10 calls a day for each of the homes that we have out there, which is pretty amazing because you would think with all of the um, inventory, if you want to call it that right now, on the market, that there would be a lot more houses than there are renters, but it's not true. There are more people to fill houses than there are houses available. That's great news for anybody that's involved in real estate investing, and especially people that are skeptical about the real estate market right now. Nationwide, and we talk about this a lot, there's a lot of pessimism. The only reason why we are very optimistic about this pessimism right now, if you will, is that it presents tremendous opportunities for the average American to get out there, pick up some properties and some assets for dirt cheap, and make a lot of money that's much, much safer than the stock market over the long term. Well, let's look at other things that are going on. Oil is at a record high today, $113 a barrel. Now, that's just unbelievable. We talked a couple of days ago about wanting to get involved in oil when it was maybe $40 a barrel. Now it's $113 a barrel. So gas prices might be going higher, who knows? The bottom line is the more control that you take over your investing in your financial life and using mm -hmm. real estate as a tool to do that, the better off you're gonna be over the long term. Exactly, Adam. That's what I wanted to talk about today. The difference between stocks and real estate is control. Now, we talked a couple episodes ago back about stocks, and Adam and I were both involved with stocks, bonds, um, option strategies. That's pretty exciting. But here's the thing. It's a roller coaster. We're in the Midwest right now, and a lot of you have been to Cedar Point, and I tell you what, I don't want my retirement on the front of a roller coaster going down at 70 miles an hour, 190 feet. I want control. And that's why we're talking a little bit about all the calls that we get to fill the houses that we have. These aren't just calls for renters either. You know, I should, I should kind of go back and tell you that we get calls from people who actually want to own the house to live in. And most of the calls are from other investors looking for great deals. Because there is so much opportunity right now in Michigan real estate that there's a, a flood of new investors coming in. And we, we feel like sometimes we're harping on it too much here, but when you believe as strongly as we do in real estate as a long-term asset, you can't help but to want to share that with other people. You know, if you found a gold mine and you couldn't carry all the gold out yourself, you wanted your neighbors to share in the wealth, you'd want to go out and tell everybody that there's a gold mine there that you can take advantage of it. All you have to do is grab a pick, grab a shovel, grab a bucket, get in there and start doing it. And right now, Detroit has some great things going on. I don't know if a lot of us are intimate with the politics of the city of Detroit, but a lot of our viewers are pretty familiar, thanks to the national news media, about the scandal with the mayor of the city of Detroit. And there's been an increasing focus on public officials in different municipalities around southeast Michigan. But what needs to be noted is that there's a lot of change going on at root levels in the political realms, which are leading to more favorable property tax situations for homeowners, better situations for renters, and more opportunity for real, legitimate real estate investors and landlords to start moving forward and taking advantage of the opportunities that are there to own long-term rental property mm -hmm. or buy and sell real estate as an ongoing investment activity. Yeah, I think the, the benefits are almost endless right now buying single-family homes in Metro Detroit. The, the level of competition out there is very weak as, as, as opposed to um, certain other areas like maybe Las Vegas or exciting areas down in Florida where there, where there's some great things happening. They've all come back a little bit too because they, they were a little overexposed and there was a little too much going on down there. 
But what we see happening here right now is, like I said, there's an influx of new investors coming in, so a lot of them don't know exactly what they're doing. They don't go and they, they don't get the education that they need. They're not involved in the, the different groups like the RIA of Macomb, for example, which is a real estate investor association, nonprofit group. Um, they, you have to understand when you start investing in real estate that it is a business and it's not a hobby, and a lot of people forget that. So my challenge to most of you out there who are either new investors or you're thinking about becoming investors is drive around town. Go to Westland or um, if you're from the west side or Redford, come over to Warren or Hazel Park, call some for rent signs. Talk to these landlords, see what they know, what they know about the neighborhood, see what the rents are going for, and what you really want to do is get inside these homes and find out what other landlords around town are doing because unfortunately, there's more bad landlords out there than there is good landlords. Dylan brought up some excellent points and you can apply these same principles no matter where you are, no matter where you're investing. Get to know your neighborhoods, get to know some of the other investors in your area, get involved in your local real estate investors association. There are groups like the Real Estate Investors Association of Macomb all around the country. There are also books, courses, anything you can do to get involved and start learning and start educating yourself because Nobody teaches you in school, when we're growing up, nobody teaches us how to invest. That's just not something that's regularly done. So if it's not something that your parents or a family member is teaching you, if you're fortunate enough to have a mentor, you need to take it upon yourself to learn, to get educated. But that's going to be your greatest asset long term is your mind and how you're able to see and take advantage of opportunities on whatever scale is right for you in your financial situation. Now if you want to learn more about the Real Estate Investors Association of Macomb, you can go to www.reiaofmacomb.com, learn a little bit more. And also, if you're not from Southeast Michigan, look up the local Real Estate Investors Association in your area and get involved. Yeah, Adam, Adam's exactly right. The most important thing that you can do is to further your education, whether you want to be a full-time real estate investor and you get your hands dirty, or you want to possibly lend money in deals. Maybe you're looking at some commercial out there. There's a lot of opportunity in commercial real estate, not just in Michigan, but nationwide right now. So the best thing to do is to get some education. Go to, the, go to Google, you know, Google real estate investment groups. Look up uh, commercial real estate uh, learning centers. They're all over out there. They're all over the country. There's a lot for you to learn. And the more you know, the stronger your, your investing career is going to be. And you can learn more about, more about us if you want to check out us on the web. My website is www.adamjdavis.com. You can find me at www.dylantanaka.com. Check back with us tomorrow as we make you millions over morning coffee.